look at that rustic farmhouse fabulous hi guys welcome to repurpose my way i'm shelly let's get started and do some farmhouse decor i picked this little window frame up that had the metal cotton pieces on it i don't know quite a while back and i popped it in my booth because it's big and heavy and hard to ship and it just sat there and did not sell and I've been slowly pulling things home from my booth that that have been sitting for a while, tired of looking at it, and I have new ideas that I want to do with them, so I decided to bring this home. So I took off the metal button decor, and I cut a piece of drop cloth the same size as my window, well, a little bit bigger than my window, uh, so that I could staple it on. I have this chicken wire uh, ribbon that I got from I don't even know Hobby Lobby probably but I believe you can get it off from Amazon if you can't find it on Hobby Lobby I will put a link down in the description for you for it from Amazon so I cut pieces uh, for each frame of this uh, window frame and I'm going to attach them with my stapler down at the bottom of each little window portion of it. I'm going to attach it from the back side and make sure that it sticks out a little bit out into the front once I flip it over. I want to have a little bit of play in it because I am going to be putting some Spanish moss in behind it and I want to have like a little kind of like a little uh, chicken wire pocket per se. I guess. So I'm going to staple those all three on there and then I just hammer down my staples to make sure that they're in. There we go. We got them all on there and see how I've got them so that they kind of pop out a little bit. Now I'm just going to attach my drop cloth that I have. I have folded it up to keep it a nice uh, hem on there and just went along with my staple gun and stapled it on. It was a little bit tricky on the other side when I went around the uh, the hangers that were on the back. I just went down and cut them just a little bit and tried to make it look neat and folded it down and stapled that on as well. Now I went when I flipped around and did the last side, I made sure I pulled it a little bit taut when I flipped over my edge for the nice trim on it. So as I flipped it over, I pulled it a little bit taut. It got some of the wrinkles out. Even though I did iron it, uh, it still had some wrinkles in it. So I just pulled out a little taut, and it seemed to work really well. Now I'm going to use these new stamps that I have. Uh, the La Campaign, I guess is how you say it. Uh, it comes with two stamp sheets, and I'm going to use this great big rooster to start with. And then I'll pick out two more to do the other panels. But I really wanted to do this rooster. He is so cute. So all I did was take, because it's brand new, I used a couple pieces, but I have not used this one yet. I took some sandpaper and just sanded down the back of it a little bit. It's a little bit tacky, and when you sand it, it helps get a little bit of that tackiness off. Took some Waverly ink paint, put it on a plate, and then I took my little... A roller that I have. I use this for a lot of different things. When I roll down my decoupage paper, I use it a lot, but I've been using it for these stamps and it works really, really well. So now I'm just tucking my little rooster down behind my chicken wire and then I'm going to pop him on there. I'm, I've committed, I've put it on, and now I'm just going to, they call it tickling. I'm going to tickle the stencil, um, sorry, the stamp and just make sure that I get as much of that ink on my material as possible. And I think that came out fabulous, farmhouse fabulous. Now this next one, I picked out a bouquet of flowers and that one is gonna go on the bottom panel. Did the same thing, added my uh, black ink paint and then I am just pushing it onto my material. And that came out really nice. I really love how this is coming out. So then the next thing I did was pick out another one for the top panel. Now this one is a two-part stencil. So I keep saying stencil, stamp, sorry guys. 
Um, and so I just used two different ones and popped them on there and made them look like they were supposed to be together. Now I had these two holes here from where the bolts went through for the cotton. So I decided I was going, I wasn't going to do anything. And then I decided I would fill in those little holes with some of this wood filler and it will turn a, like an off white color. And then later on, I don't show it, but I took some antique wax and just put my, put it, my finger, some on my finger and I colored in those uh, lighter colors so that they would blend in with the, with the frame. So now here I am taking the uh, Spanish moss and I'm tucking it in behind the chicken wire. And then I have some of these little uh, lavender pieces and some greenery, and I'm gonna tuck those in behind the uh, chicken wire and in front of the stamp. I don't show it, but I also go around each individual panel with some twine. I go around two or three times and then I added a rusty star to finish it off. picked up this cute basket at Goodwill for $4 and decided I wanted to do a little bit of a farmhouse makeover on it. So I taped off the top rim of the basket. I'm going to do something different with that and I don't want to get any of my antique stain on there. So I went over the whole bottom part of the basket with my antiquing wax from Waverly. Just the straight right out of the bottle and I went over the whole thing and then wiped it back with a rag. Once it was dry, I peeled off all of my tape, and then I went in with some uh, white paint that I had, and I'm just putting that on my the top rim of my basket. Now this video is in collaboration with several other uh, creators uh, here on YouTube that are doing the farmhouse decor collab, and I will have a link down in the description for their the playlist that where all of their wonderful videos will be. Make sure that you check it out. They are just creative, wonderful people, and you're going to love what they come up with for farmhouse decor. So now I'm just gluing in a liner on the inside of my basket. I have all the material on the outside and I glue a little bit of glue underneath each uh, underneath the rim all the way around and then glue that on and then I tuck it in to the basket. It makes a nice liner. Then I took my basket, the bottom of it, and I traced around it on a paper plate to make a bottom to finish off the inside. So I just cut out a circle and then made sure it fit and then I took more of my drop cloth and glued that on to my little cardboard circle. And then that fits right into the bottom and it works out really, really well. Now once the rim of my basket was all dry, I went back with some sandpaper and sanded that down to give it a distressed look. I also went over the stained part in the middle of the basket and just distressed that up a little bit. Now I'm going to take some antique wax that was on my brush from doing the basket and I am putting it on and wiping it back making it look a little bit aged and distressed, like it's been around a while and not a brand new paint job. I wanted to put a little piece of fabric on the front with a stamp on it. So I cut out a rectangular piece that would fit on the front of my basket. And then I frayed it and ripped off the edges here and there just to make it look like it's been around a while and not just a straight piece of material. I'm going to take this cute stamp from the La Campaign IOD stamps and I'm going to put that right on the front. This is a cute chicken with a little chick on the on her back. And then there's some little a couple little chicks that hang out off to the side of each uh each side of her. 
So I popped those on there, same way, just added the black paint and then put it on. And then I'm going to glue that to the front of my basket. Then once I was done with that, I got out my, my coffee tea stain and I used a rag and just went around it so that it wasn't so bright white and made it look a little bit aged. I got this cute little wagon from my mom. I think it was a home interiors wagon and she didn't want it anymore and she said, here you go. So I have done one of these years ago and I think I did like a crackle finish on it and it sold very quickly. But I wanted to do kind of a farmhouse decor on this one, something a little different. So I taped off the wood part so that I could uh, paint the wheels and the underneath the uh, just a black color Waverly ink uh, black. And I went all over the bottom and all around the wheels the best that I could to turn them all black. Then I took the tape off and I'm going to do a mold, a half a mold of this sunflower IOD mold. And I'm going to use cornstarch, or I did already, as you can see here, I've already done it, and the DAS uh, clay. And so I did a half a one because only half will fit on this wagon and then I just took my razor blade and I straightened out the bottom a little bit so that it was a nice straight uh, piece to go on the front of my wagon. Now I used some E6000 on the back and I spread that all out all out on all the petals and everything so that it would stick really well and then I got it placed onto my wagon. And then I decided I wanted a couple little leaves on either side, so I got the uh, sunflower mold out again, uh, threw some cornstarch in there, and then added my DAS clay so that I could get a couple of cute little leaves to put on either side of my sunflower. Now I let that sit overnight so that I could paint it and not uh, disturb any of the images on my uh, clay. And I took my mineral paint from Waverly. It's like a grayish brown paint. And I'm going to go over the whole little wagon, the front, sides, back, inside, and everything. I did two coats on that. Once that was dry, I took my clear Rust-Oleum spray paint and I sprayed the whole wagon so that I could put on this white wax and pull it back easily. So now I'm adding the white wax onto the flower and the leaves and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it back. Now once that sits for a little while and kind of dries a little bit, I use my, my heat gun, I come back in with some antique wax and I go over it with that as well. So I'll have some of the white wax showing and some of the antique wax showing. I want this to look aged, but also uh, give it a little bit of a farmhouse look. So then once I got all that on there, I just wiped it back and I think this came out really cute.
Hope you liked my farmhouse decor. Check down in the description for the links to the items that I used today in my video on my projects. And also don't forget to check out that playlist of all the other awesome creators who have done some farmhouse decor. Thanks for watching.